first question goes to Klaus from Juked GG. How does it feel to keep up a fantastic land streak with crew? Many teams haven't been able to be as consistent as yours. Creo que se siente muy bien llegar a este punto de, mm, de la última LAN, eh, lo que fue uh, Champions, y ahora a darlo, a darlo mm -hmm. mejor y intentar sacar un mejor puesto. Y ahora por lo menos apuntamos a semifinales yeah. o final o mismos campeones. Yeah. I believe that it feels really good to be. Do you think Boaster's going to say, uh, events, especially in last Champions? Boaster's going to say, first of all, right thank you for the question. Aiming at getting the same <laughs> or even higher, even would, semifinals. Uh, or maybe Post even taking on the conference bingo. Next question goes to Scream from oh. Valorant Info. Scream, mm -hmm. which team do you see as the tournament favorite? I think like uh, Optic and uh, Fnatic, probably. Like, I, <laughs> at Champions, uh, Optic was one of the, in my opinion, the best team there. So they had like unfortunate uh, conditions, but I think they can, mm -hmm. they can do a lot of damage here. And uh, same for Fnatic. I think they're one of the best like strategic team because they have... Uh, Booster. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, like I, I think they're really well together, and like I think these two teams are very dangerous this event. Thank you. Next question, also for screen. screen from the Spike GG. Although Liquid placed fourth at the Mia <laughs> Challengers, you were granted a spot due to the issues with FPX traveling to Iceland. What were the team's initial reactions to this news? How do you plan on capitalizing oh. this opportunity despite the recent the losses right both in groups and playoff <laughs> stages? Yeah, we've had like a kind of a slump after Champions. You know, our preparation was not the best. We tried a lot of stuff. Next question goes to Boaster from the Spike GG. Will Durka be playing the first match on Monday? If oh. yes, will Hyber be staying with you for the whole tournament? First of all, thank you for the question. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're looking yeah. to uh, hopefully bring in Dirk for the first game. So uh, we're going to be coming out guns blazing. Oh, you know what I mean? That's, that's pretty much it. It's pretty chilly in here. My balls are shrunk. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, no. uh, thank you for that. Uh, next question. No. Being the only team that has qualified for every international tournament, does it put more pressure on the team? No. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Next question goes to Scream. Do you feel Team Liquid oh has more to prove at this tournament than anyone else, having qualified simply because FPX could not attend? Yes. Yeah, in a in a sense, yes, I would say so. Like we we still gonna give everything. Like I, I think we, we we haven't showed like our our full potential. Uh, next question goes to Boaster from the Clutch. How do you see this debut versus Ninjas in First the of all, match? And thank you for what the question. do you think of the Brazilian team? First of all, thank you for the question. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think we've never actually played against a Brazilian team. Uh, we we have played them in scrims of like at previous events, so um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I have not many expectations for the Nip game. I'm just kind of kind of gonna go watch their vods, just kind of prepare as I always do for any, any other team, really. And uh, I'm obviously there's gonna be respect and not gonna underestimate them. And hopefully we get the win. And then, you know, we get the next win and the next one, the next one, and we would lift the trophy. Woo okay, next question goes to Ye from Dexerto. With EMEA teams affected Ooh. by external circumstances, is NA entering this event as the strongest oh, region? Back. Honestly, it's hard to say because obviously G2 and even like Liquid have always looked uh, traditionally really strong. And if, even when you watch the EMEA games, they um, it's hard to say like if there's like a team that really stands above the rest, they all play each other fairly often and pretty equally. And, and the games can really go like either way. So it's hard to say if they're like a stronger region right now. Definitely, I would say like some of the teams here are affected by outside circumstances. But, you know, <laughs> sometimes that, that's how it is. And we'll do our best regardless. So. Next question is for Boaster from Run It Back. Regarding the force roster changes heading into the event, how well has Firoth meshed with the team and how has preparation changed now that Durka is back in action? First of all, thank you for the question. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think Firoth being a kind of ex-IGL, he's super smart. Um, he's blended in quite well with the team, to be fair. Um, he's coming up with ideas. Sometimes he actually shows better leadership than I do. And I'm like, what the hell? This guy's stealing my stealing my, my thunder. Um, but no, I think... Um, yeah, we've just kind of been going over the basics, really making sure the comms are up, you know, like the the trading, the peaking together. And that's kind of all we can do. And then throw in some nice util and we'll be coming to your bomb site, uh, spike site. Yeah. Next question is for Klaus from Run It Back. Crew Esports has made every single international VCT event thus far. What will it take for the team to finally win one? Creo que... Este es un gran momento para conseguir el campeonato entero. 
porque ya venimos de la experiencia del Champion, venimos con muchas cosas nuevas, venimos confiados de que no somos el mismo equipo de los anteriores eventos mismo del Champions, entonces creo que es una muy buena oportunidad ahora mismo en este, mm -hmm. en este Master de Islandia. I believe that right now is our best moment to gain the championship after our experience in Champions and obviously everything gained in previous tournaments. We are really confident that we are not the same team as before and we are stronger now and right now is our best opportunity to win it all. Next question goes to Scream from Valorant News. What has been the most favorite moment or thing so far after your brother Nivera joined Liquid alongside you? Uh, probably when we when we qualified for Champions because It was last last chance qualifier and it was mm -hmm. very tough, like very uh, big teams in EMEA to beat and, and we did it so uh, with no practice. So it was really, it was really amazing feeling. Next question is for Boaster from Captain Beans on the Juke app. Since there wasn't much time between the roster changes and masters, was it hard for you or the or the new players to get used to working around a new team slash system? First of all, thank you for the question. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, it was pretty hard. Uh, we haven't had a lot of days. I think only eight or nine days to really get Firoth on board. But he's a super smart player. And uh, um, honestly, it's actually helped uh, myself and Coach Minnie kind of bring back the basics and really like re-roll to uh, kind of improve in that way. You know, like we used to be all about like, the, the flashy executes, utility flying in. Uh, but we often kind of lacked in these kind of mid-round and kind of playing together almost it was almost like we we're a little bit of robots running around the map like let's do this because Bosa says so so uh, having fear of back really helped us to kind of get back on that uh like to work on that side of the thing so yeah I think uh we I'm I'm not gonna lie we're looking pretty spicy I'm not gonna lie I don't like you guys but we're we're, we're we're not too bad right now I'm we're not too bad I had good scrims today good scrims for once you know we're losing a week you know <laughs> no, I'm just... <laughs> Uh, next question goes to Ye from the Spike GG. <laughs> Two different team names, same rosters. Envy versus X10 is not a happy memory. How do you feel going against them, Xerxia, in your opening match? It, it's pretty exciting to get like a rematch against them because obviously we uh, got knocked out um, by them at Champions. And now that we've gone back, reflected, and you know, also <laughs> Victor is healthy now. So um, <laughs> I, I'm True. really looking forward to replaying them and I'm really hoping it'll be a really good game. You know, ultimately, it, it sucks that we can't go against their original roster because obviously I think it's, a, it's Palpatine who left, but I mean, even with Surf, they're still looking pretty good. So I'm hoping it'll be a really good match. Palpatine. Next question goes to Klaus from Juked GG. Who do you think is the most underrated player here at Masters? I think Trent is a very... I believe that Trent is the most infrapolarated player in this tournament. He has uh, a lot of room to grow, and I believe he hasn't shown his full potential yet. Green, what team would you support if you never made it to Masters Reykjavik? Uh, in the teams, you know, Fnatic, G2, obviously. <laughs> I think, I mean, they, they have a pretty good chance to win this tournament as well. Like, EMEA is, in my opinion, uh, still the best region right now. Uh, oh. But we're gonna we're gonna figure it out after this event. Next question goes to Klaus. What do you think about the group where the team is, and what are you and the team expecting in this first Masters of the year? Creo que el equipo tiene un aire renovado después del último champion, y creo que sí, de alguna manera seguimos todos igual de de focusados, de concentrados en intentar ganar y y llevarse el y ser campeón. I believe that the team has a new life in itself after after champions and i also believe that we are still really focused and concentrated on winning it all and becoming the champions this is the final pre-submitted question it goes to yay from upcomer if you had to pick a team that you're excited to face which one and why well that's a tough one um i would say a lot of the EMEA teams because we really haven't got the chance to play like a lot of them uh the only two that we played were gambit and ascend So honestly, playing against them is always really, really fun because I, I feel like stylistically they play the most similar to us. So I'm, I'm really f looking forward to playing them essentially in a match setting. Uh, hi, my question is for Ye. Going, going into this tournament, statistically, you are the best chamber player in terms of ACS, ADR. But on the other hand, the EMEA teams don't use uh, chamber all that much. So what do you think of that and how will these uh, clash of these matters turn out to be? It's hard to say because... Um, 
Again, we haven't played him in a match yet, but I feel with Chamber, I feel like he's a little bit underrated by other regions, at least right now. And maybe it also another reason we use Chamber is because like it fits our team pretty well in terms of like, you know, our player strengths. So I think I think uh going into this tournament, you might see a lot of value coming out of Chamber and maybe it'll get picked more. You never know. Hmm. So thanks for uh taking our questions, guys. Uh this is for anyone who's willing to answer. Um with the new format and teams getting a direct pass to playoffs. Um, do you guys like this change? And I know, yay, you guys specifically weren't informed of it before you played in the grand finals. Does that affect you guys? Um, or how did that affect you guys in that moment and moving forward? I'd say I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of like people being seated directly in the playoffs. I kind of, I kind of almost favored them getting like a higher seating inside groups and still playing through the mm. whole group format. But um, in terms of, uh, how it affected us when uh, in, in grand finals. <laughs> I, I feel I feel like uh, for our players and even myself, it's sometimes, you know, if you know you get like a massive benefit like going in, like you you play like a lot harder. Not to say we didn't play like our, our hardest, but it's kind of like, it's like a psychology thing almost mm -hmm. where it's like, oh, you're playing for something like a lot, you know, more. So it requires more out of you almost, so. Uh, if, if we had known beforehand, I, I feel like maybe we get kicked it up uh, extra gear. So never know. Uh, this is definitely towards uh, Yay. Uh, obviously, in terms of NA, the three teams that made it to Champions last year, you were the only team to come back, at least to the next international tournament. Uh, do you feel what? What do you think? What do you feel are the like, honest expectations for your team in this tournament? I guess uh, the expectation is the try and win but ultimately like you know <laughs> sometimes it doesn't turn out that way right so um coming into this um our hope is like after you know we got to the grand finals at the first berlin uh we had some unfortunate circumstances in the second but ideally is like we finally bring home an international trophy you know you know we, we really want to do that and also show like na is still a strong region as well because <laughs> you know last few times we it's been kind of like a downhill hill and we we want to turn that around and we've been working really hard towards that so we're hoping to show that and also make all our fans back home proud so uh hello this is a more generic uh, <laughs> question to all four of you uh do you personally like where the game is going where the game is headed right now as uh, as we're talking uh, balance changes game plan changes and uh, such do you personally like them or the approach the right is doing. Yeah, definitely. Like that's my answer. At least like for us, especially for Astra. I think Astra was like one of the hardest agents to play against. Even though they they nerfed it a little bit before, but now <clears throat> now it's really hard to play it. Even though some teams still play it. But overall, I'm really happy with the way Riot is handling and uh, asking the feed the feedbacks from players and stuff. So yeah. My question is for Klaus. I want to say that uh, Crew Esports finished top four in Champions and is still the only one in LATAM. What do you think of your rematch against Liquid and all of the group that has Crew? Creo que va a ser un match muy importante contra Liquid porque no fue nuestro mejor nuestras mejores versiones las que mostramos contra Liquid. Eh, totalmente no las veces que jugamos contra Liquid no no éramos nosotros por así decirlo. Entonces creo que esta vez va a ser diferente. Mm -hmm. I believe yeah, that's a uh, really important say. match for us. Hi. First of all, we thank really you for taking all questions. I like posted those, you know. tournaments against them, <laughs> and we really weren't ourselves. But I believe that this time it will be, it'll all be different. Hello, you beautiful men. Uh, I have a question <laughs> for uh, for Boaster. George. Um, now that uh, Vanity uh, isn't here, because obviously you know Cloud Nine didn't make it. Um, because they suck. Uh, who are you uh, most looking forward to hanging out with at the event? Uh, first of all, thank you for the question. However, Cloud9 <laughs> do not suck, my man. Um, they are a good team, and it was just unfortunate in the way they kind of lost. Um, but who am I most looking forward to meet? Uh... <laughs> no, um, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, oh, Zeta, because Laz, uh, I wanted to meet him, but I met him today in the, the reception, so that was kind of cool. Um, who else? I mean, the guard, you know, they've had rumors in NA and, you know, like everyone's hyping them. And then they ended up qualifying as well with all that hype. So it'd be nice to meet them in the lobby. Valen's been tweeting at me, like saying, like, get on the rank grinds, but um, I haven't been able to with him. So maybe meeting them, like, in the reception. Or do you mean, like, in real life? Or do you mean in the game? I don't know. 
Like if it was uh, in real, in real life, life anyway, I don't, because I obviously everyone. vanity is very beautiful. So you know, is there anyone else? Oh, I see. Oh no, no, there's no cheating going on here, mate. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a loyal boyfriend here. Um, but yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, on behalf of Overflow oh. from the Juke community, this is to Boaster and anyone who wants to jump in. Uh, what do you think the biggest differences or clashes between metas uh, from different regions is? Mm. First of all, thank you for the question. Um, I think it's, it's similar to what uh, Ye said earlier with the Chamber. For instance, EMEA haven't really been running Chamber as much. Uh, whereas, uh, obviously, uh, NA, as soon as it came out, they really hopped on that kind of bandwagon. And it could be the same with, um, well, NA, we got to see first when the patch update, what kind of comp shift they made straight away. And then we were able to kind of analyze and see kind of, oh, yeah, we kind of see that. Oh, we don't see that. And then we made our own decisions off of that, I guess. Uh, when it came to, uh, like, APAC regions and, you know, like, uh, uh, Korea and whatnot, um, I think their comps are slowly, I think their comps are slowly being uh, Hello. kind of, we've Hello. all been kind of merging towards <laughs> the same gist of the comps. So, um, we're, we're all getting there. We're all learning from each other. There are some through like the, there are a few curveballs out there, you know, liquid coming up with, uh, some, some, some snazzy comps occasionally, aren't you boys? Yeah, you guys are not ready, man. Trust me. <laughs> 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 Any NA perspective there? <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, honestly, I think uh, <laughs> Neon and Yoru are actually pretty strong agents right now, but they're, the only thing with them is kind of like a similar situation when Viper was kind of re uh, released. It takes a while and a lot of work in order to actually... Mm, I agree um, on that. To essentially get <clears throat> get to a point in which it fits well with the team and then also figure it out. Because, I don't know... It, when a lot of people don't run uh, like some of these agents, it's like it, you don't get to see like a lot of different perspectives and what's best and like how it works. So I, I think <clears throat> I think in the future you're gonna see a lot a lot more of Neon and Yoru, and I, I think I think it'll, it'll start to shift more towards there. Mm -hmm. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, am Jonas. I like to shoot arrows into the sky and hope it hits someone. Um, I have a question for Scream. Do you think that the lack of form that the team has shown in the past makes it an advantage for you to be a lower seed so you get more matches before possibly going into the playoffs? Very nice question, man. Thank you for the question, brother. Um, I do think you're you're right. Uh, I think playing more games on stage uh, compared to the people who uh, who are in playoffs already makes a big advantage, I think, in my opinion. So, so yeah, we will take advantage of this situation, definitely. And, like... Uh, we already experienced the stage uh, in Iceland, in Berlin. So, like, even though we, we were in a slump recently, I think, honestly, like, yeah, it's been a really, really bad time for us. And, like, yeah, I can't wait for to show people, you know, actually what we are capable of. And uh, if it's not at this event, it's going to be at the next one. And, like, yeah, we are, we are very hungry. And I think we have everything that takes. And, like, yeah, people might be surprised with like our comps and the way we play and the the momentum. Like we are very very momentum based, so it's gonna be interesting, especially against Crew. Uh, I really hope so. They, I hope so. They, you know, they have a kind of a mental break against us, uh, mental block, and uh, I hope they they remove Ooh. this so so we can actually have a good game against us. <laughs> 